Hi everyone, Nick here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am bringing a very, very good update to my how to transfer between iOS and Windows uh, video. I made that video last year and it got over 80,000 views so far and it's still going. Um, so I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's checked that video out. However, this is an updated version of that. And the reason why I wanted to make it is because this requires no third party software whatsoever and it is so easy to set up. It's only going to take a few minutes. Let's do it right now. So I'm on the PC and the first thing we want to do is determine what it is that we want to share. You can share entire drives or you can just share a folder. Uh, and the way we're going to be doing this is by doing a network share. So we're going to create a new folder and for this example, I'm just going to call it YouTube test. And we're just going to leave this on the desktop for now. You can do it wherever you like. Just for this example, I'm going to do it on the desktop. Um, and what we need to find out is our IP address. So in the start menu, type in CMD and then type in IP config. This is the easiest and quickest way for you to get your IP address. And it is the IP version four address that you want. Once you have that, exit out um, after remembering it or, or uh, making a note of it. And what we need to do now is again, go to the start menu and type in users. And you want to click on this add, edit or remove other users. Um, as you can see, I've already got an iPhone local account here, which is what I already use for this exact scenario. Um, but what we want to do is we want to add someone else to this PC. And the reason why we're adding a new user instead of just using our normal user for our PC is because our main user that we use is like a super admin. He's the owner of everything and permissions can get a bit a bit weird uh, and a bit annoying um, whilst doing these sorts of network shares. And if you only want to share a specific folder, um, then you should really just have a local account that has access to just that folder. So. When this prompt opens up, you want to click, I don't have this person sign in information. And then you want to add a user without a Microsoft account. This means that it's a completely local uh, account. There's no Microsoft account associated to it. And we're going to call this YouTube as the user. We're going to make it a very secure password, one, two, three, four. And we're going to answer the security questions. What was your first name's pet? Well, for me, it was one, two, three, four. I don't know about you guys. Um, security question two, the name of the city you were born. I was born in one, two, three, four. Where were you born? Let me know in the comments. Um, and security question three, what is your childhood nickname? Well, my mum and dad likes to call me one, two, three, four. Um, I don't know about you guys. Let me know what people call you. Um, so click on next and that is your account created. That's it. We are done with that. And now on the desktop, we're going to go back to this folder. We're going to right click and click on properties. We're going to hit the, uh, the sharing tab and we're going to click on advanced sharing. We're going to share this folder. We're going to keep it as YouTube test. That's the name of the folder. And we're going to click on permissions. At the moment, everyone has access to this. We don't want that. We want to remove that. We want to add a new user and we want to type in YouTube, the name of the user account we just created. And we want to check names. Windows is going to check the PC for a user on this PC of that name, which it's found. And now we want to click OK. We want to give it full control. So you want to be able to read and you want to be able to change stuff within the folder uh, when you access it. Um, so you want to click apply and OK, apply, OK. And now we want to click on this share. We want to go uh, on the, uh, the, uh, the, the downwards arrow and we want to find the YouTube user and we want to click add. Now that it's added, um, you want to click on the downward arrow again and you want to go read and write because you don't want to just be able to read what's on the folder. You want to be able to transfer files to and from your devices. Um, and as you can see here, the owner, which is the main user of the PC, is in here. This is why I, 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 I recommend to create a different user because it's completely isolated uh, in terms of when you're setting this up and the, the account that you're using to access. Um, it just makes it a lot easier in terms of admin privileges and things like that. So now we want to click share. We want to click done and we are done in terms of the PC. And now all you have to do is go into your files app 
on your iPhone or iPad. Um, on the iPad, you'll have a selection bar on the left. On your iPhone, there may just be a bar at the top, but you want to click on the three dots. You want to click on connect to server. And then once you've clicked on that, it will ask you for where you want to connect to, at which point you will type in a uh, SMB colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address of your PC. That's the address we got earlier when we went into the command prompt. Um, and then click on uh, connect. And then it will ask you if you're connecting as a guest or a registered user. You want to click on registered user and then you want to use the, uh, the, uh, the account information of that local account that we created. In our case, it was YouTube and then the very secure password of 1234. And that is it, you are connected. You can now transfer files between the two wirelessly over the network. So again, the really good benefits to this over the previous version of the video I did is one, no third party software. Two, there's no pro version of a third party software to purchase. Um, I did find that, that software really helpful back when I, I found out how to do it that way. Um, but again, the third benefit to this is that that simple transfer application that I did last year, it would only work with photos and videos. This is for any file that you want to share over the network. You can do ISOs, you could do uh, pictures, PDFs, videos, anything over the network um, and, and be able to access it on your devices. Again, you just have to make sure that your uh, phone and your PC is on the same network. So I've been Mick from All About Tech. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you find it helpful. If you do, smash that like button, comment down below your thoughts as always, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss cool review uh, uh, tutorials just like this one. And I'll catch you guys out in the next video. Bye for now.